just as you can find a new adventure and a new love after your first marriage, so can you find a new life in a foreign land. For me, for now, it's South America. My name is Lauren Lau, and this is my adventure in Grand Colombia. Welcome to Ibagué. That video is the next one. But I'm sitting in my Airbnb, ready to talk to you about the introduction to Season 8. First of all, why seasons? What does that mean? It's not really like on TV where you have like 13 episodes and then it plays out again. For me, it, it began a couple years ago when I needed a, a way for myself to kind of categorize the videos in groups so I knew where certain things were. So that was the first season. But then the question is, well, what do I do? Well, if I'm halfway through something, do I just end the season and then just do the same thing? So what I've done with these seasons, it's really, I do it how I want, whichever way I want. But what it boils down to is when I feel that something has stopped and something else has begun. And some of those things are personal for me, a situation in my life, and then I, turning a corner and doing something maybe a little bit different with videos. You know, like moving to Colombia, of course, is a big one, and going from Manizales to uh, Armenia, uh, that's an event. And then doing quite a few videos in Armenia itself, maybe it's time to turn outward, you know, beyond the, the local tourist of Salento, but maybe looking outward at some other places. Now, it so happens I've never been to Ibagué. I have a couple friends in Ibagué. One helped me a lot yesterday and today because I didn't know anything about it. I was actually able to get the filming done in about mm, five or six hours. And if I were alone, it would have taken me a good couple solid days of eight, ten hours a day. So it saved a lot of time. And as hot as it is, that's a good thing. And we'll talk about that. So that's the point of the seasons. Now, it's come up a number of times, including a comment I just got from a viewer about why he's not knowing about my videos and he hasn't gotten any notification. And he looked and been 10 videos since uh, he saw the last one. And, and that's a recurring theme. So I'm going to quickly tell you, I'll try to do it quickly, quickly for me, about YouTube issues. First of all, now, all the money is taken by YouTube. So if you plan on getting into YouTube, you're not going to make any money on YouTube. As a matter of fact, they've made it very difficult for you to get to the threshold where you can sign up to make money. I've been a YouTube partner for about four years now, and I made five times the money three years ago that I'm making now. So it's a, it's a non-issue. But you know, what's the point? Am I crying about the money? Well, yeah, but no. I'm talking about YouTube. YouTube has gone through some major changes, and we're just beginning to see how deep it's going to go. But essentially, they're driving small video makers out of the platform. And by small, I mean people much larger than me, too. Uh, even some people that have millions of subscribers, they want them gone. They want no independent content makers, video makers, uh, information, travel. They don't want it. The reason they don't want it is because they want to be the next Netflix and Amazon Music. They want to be the one-size-fits-all platform, kind of what they did with Amazon when it came to retail sales. They didn't begin the way they are now. They want to be the digital media service that pushes everybody else out of the market. Dragging along small content is not what they want to do. They've actually paid many millions of dollars to get NBC, MSNBC, CNN, um, on their platform and it's funny when you do a search um, of anything related to to news up they pop even if they only have a few hundred views 
and some independent content creator has half a million views, theirs is going to supersede him and he's going to be pushed way down or out. So I'll tell you that if you're subscribed, make sure you click the notification bell next to the subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe and do that. Unfortunately, that still doesn't guarantee that you're going to get notified, but it certainly increases your odds. And not just for me, but for everybody else out there. I expect we're fast coming to a time when we just won't exist on this platform. All small YouTubers need to monetize. When monetize, that means make money. Why do they need to make money? Because they actually cost money. And so at some point, you have to monetize those videos or it's just not worth. Even, even if you have all the equipment in the world and it never breaks down, you never have to replace it, you still you know, have a lot of time invested. So you need to monetize it. You know, I'm no different. I need to do something with it to, to keep it going. You know, this little trip to Ibagué, uh, future trips to like Santa Marta, Bar Barranquilla, it's going to cost money. I can't afford to do it out of pocket. So there's a lot of people who want videos like that. So, you know, I have to monetize to make it happen. How do I do it? I can't make it off YouTube anymore. It just doesn't exist. So I ask my viewers if you find value and, and I'm not hawking now, I'm explaining based on some uh, recent comments. First of all, use my links for services, Airbnb for example. I just got through saving somebody about $50 on his, his stay in Armenia. I also had a viewer save $20. I get a credit, they don't send me money, but I get a credit for that. Well that $20 paid for half of the Airbnb which helps me make a trip to Ibagi to make that video. So while he saved money, he also helped make this video happen. So these things are important. I've got a link to booking.com and there's a number of things and you can actually see that on my vlog page. And if you don't know where that is, look in the comments section below and you'll see the link to it. I do written uh, vlogs not consistent every so often, but I've got a few years worth. And of course, I've got the GoFundMe and the Patreon. An advantage of the Patreon account is I also post videos there. And if you're a subscriber there, you're guaranteed to get notification of every video because it'll come through Patreon. I've also started doing the video premieres. So you're invited to watch the first time that a video goes live or goes on air and I'm there, I'm there in the chat during that first viewing. And there's a feature on that where you can click a button and I got last time a donation of $10 on there. So that's another way to do it. If you like what's happening, do that. Now, I'm gonna get to the crux of this. I've been asked going back two years if I would do live Q and A's live question and answer. So it's not just sending an email, but a response where they can maybe do a follow-up to clarify. And for various reasons, I've not done it. I've not been able to do that. It hasn't been practical to do it. And of course, there's no sense in doing it if I'm just gonna sit there in front of a camera with nothing happening. So I am prepared to do it this weekend. And so I'm going to ask you for your input on this. Are you interested in it? If you are, will you be part of it? It amounts to, I need about a dozen people on there. So the way it works is there's a special chat window that I have and I, you know, I announce that I'm there and then you just type in your question. And I say, oh, so-and-so typed in a question. Oh, thanks, five bucks, great. So. Here's what I say about that question. Da 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 da. And if he's got a follow up or he's not, he can clarify, I answer it. Next one. And we'll go through and do it like that. Now, there are a few topics that I will not go in depth on. And I'm getting a lot of questions about dating because I've mentioned that I've been dating. And there's a lot of guys that want to go to a new country and they don't want to be alone. They want to have a girlfriend. It's just natural women also and I get asked by women but the thing is I'm not a woman I don't have a clue of how to go about it 
I just, I can't help you. Now, the vast majority of my viewers are men anyway in Ecuador and here. I really have no answers for women. I just, I, I know nothing about it. But when it comes to dating for men, at least in the Armenia region, Manizales, I know pretty much everything you'd ever want to know. Uh, I, I have absolutely no trouble finding more than enough women. My problem is finding the one suited for me because I'm a miserable son of a bitch and it's really difficult. So I don't want to put anybody through that misery. So, I, you know, I have trouble with that. So I've been seeing somebody on and off for a while. Maybe it'll work out, maybe it won't. Point is, I've been through this. I probably dated over the course of a couple months more than 60, 60 ladies. Uh, how do you meet so many? And th that's after screening them down. So I have all kinds of good information on that, but that is not something I can talk about publicly. I'm not comfortable with it. Because sometimes it requires some detail, and I don't mean nasty sexual detail. That's not what I'm talking about. But their personal information. I just, I will not do it publicly. And I can't think of a way to do it publicly. But I have that for Skype. Now, on this q and A, I I can answer top layer, rather simple, you know, where did you meet the, the most? Or where did you find the most success? Or questions like that I, I can answer in a public Q&A, of course. But I do the Skype where I can do one-on-one -on -one and you can talk to me and ask me anything you want. And I'll, you know, I can speak freely at that point. And that's not me holding it back. It has entirely to do with my comfort level. So if you're interested in this Q&A thing, and if you're interested and in can do it this weekend, Saturday or Sunday, uh, drop me a line and tell me, you know, what would be the best time that you are interested in it, any comments that you have about it. If you don't like the idea, just don't bother. I mean, the non-answer will tell me. Um, you know, I'm trying to be as accessible as possible. And I'm trying to monetize the channel. So these can be painless ways for everybody involved to, to get what they want out of it. So, what are my plans for Season 8? What's going on? Well, I mentioned a little bit earlier that I want to do more content outside of Armenia. It doesn't mean I won't do content because these videos are mostly what's going on in my life, what am I doing, what's day-to-day -day life like where I live, how do I live, and of course that's primarily in Armenia. But as I'm getting some funding for travel, I'm going to do that travel because that's what people want, that's what they're contributing for. So this first trip was Ibagué, and that's going to Ibagué. Got the mark over it, Ibagué. That will be one, possibly two, I don't know, I got a ton of video content. Oh my God, the editing. It'll be possibly, possibly two or one video, I don't know, out of that. Some others, El Jardin. I really want that to be my next trip. It's in Quindío, it's right near Pedeta, and a beautiful little town. I want to go do a video there. It's kind of like heaven on earth. It's a little slice of paradise, and I want you to be able to see it. But also, as I mentioned, if I get enough support, I really want to go to Bananquilla. Maybe I can meet Shakira, right? That's where she's from. But it's a great place. And Santa Marta, where I've actually never been to Santa Marta. So I don't know that it's a great place, but everybody talks about it. Everybody goes to vacation there. It's a big beach thing. I mean, Cartagena is okay. It's good tourist in and out. But if you really want to go to beaches from what I Cartagena I know, Santa Marta, I understand that's the place to go. So uh, I would like to try to hit that. And I also want to mention that if you have anything in particular, let's say you want to know about San Andreas, if you want to fund that trip, I will go and do everything that you want to do. Uh, so you know, feel free, I, I will make it happen do get asked occasionally, hey, can you go do such and such? Well, if you want to fund it, absolutely, but, you know, I can't take it out of pocket. Welcome to Season 8. Hope this intro helped you a little bit, prepared you for what's to come, and 
I will see you as soon as I get this video edited in Ibagay.